Hi everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at a Best CC34 E6 SB. Um, we're going to take a look at the inside. I'm going to show you how to, you know, take the lights out. I'm going to show where the electrical assembly is located and what you got to do to get there. Um, first thing, you want to make sure always that the power is off. And two, that you have your safety equipment on. The first thing we're going to do, these doors basically are hinged. Um, and this is mounted up in the ceiling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the doors and take them off. Makes it a little bit lighter um, to work at. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some screws here. There's, there's three on each hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. One more screw and this door will come down. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that on the side. We'll go for door number two. I'm going to go ahead and take those three screws off of each end. Now that we have the doors off, we have the grease filters. There are six of them. You can remove the grease filters. Right in the center is where the LED light, I call them eyeballs, are located. Um, again, there's six of them. Um, the, really, to get at them, this whole black panel has to come down. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove, there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, and you can just kind of keep following them around. Um, they're black Phillips head style screws, and you're going you're gonna to take them all out. You're going to take this screw, this screw, skip the middle one. And you're going to take this screw and this screw out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all the screws out. That panel will drop down then. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done here. All right, now that I have all the screws out all the way around the perimeter, there's 14 screws. This whole black panel will come down. And this is how you can get at the LED lights. We recommend having two people um, because it is kind of big. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this blue cable here. plugs into the back of the switch. I'm just going to unplug it here so you can take a look at it. And I'm going to undo the wires in the back so you can also take a look at it. So as you can see, um, the lights are basically, these are all quick connects. You would just squeeze them and come apart. These are the LED, the back of the LED lights. So how you go about, what you can do is you can take a pliers. Um, I recommend putting some tape on the jaws of the pliers so you don't scratch it. Um, and you can just basically Go on and grab a hold and just loosen them up. Again, this is just a little eyeball here. And they unscrew, that LED will drop to the back and this is what it would look like. See, here's what you've seen before when I had it flipped around. And again, this is just a quick connect. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect these and then I'm going to move this pan all the way and we're going to move on and I'm going to show you um, where the electrical assembly is located. The electrical assembly is going to be located in this panel. This is a service switch. Basically, you can flip this off as well when working on a unit. I recommend just cutting power at the breaker box, um, but either works. So I'm going to go ahead and, and remove this panel. This panel is hinged on there. And right there you have the electrical assembly. Everything's located there. I'll go ahead and remove this service switch so you can get a really good look at it. Everything is can be done from down below. Alright, so there it is. Basically, this is your blower connections as well. This is the 120 input from your breaker box. And this box here is your motor connection. And it will be labeled 120 VAC input and motor connection box right there. Again, right here is electrical assembly. Um, here is the antenna. Um, that little wire hanging out, it can be blue, it can be red or orange. Um, it's for the antenna. This does have an RF um, frequency. It's got a remote control. That's how you turn this unit on and off. Um, and all the connections will be right here in this electrical box. The driver is located in there um, as, as well as the circuit board is located in there. And that's it. It's, it's very basic. It's just cumbersome. Um, it takes, again, two people. Um, and I hope this helps.